G'day everyone, welcome back to Nat's Knacker's Yard. I'll be Nat, this will be my Knacker's Yard, which is technically the scene of a murder. Um, and the evidence behind that is the fact that the murderer got really frustrated and just kicked his kit back in the garage, shut the door, and didn't open it again for an entire week because he was busy at work. Um, the victim of said murder is blue. Um, uh, what are we going to say? What's the what's the uh, verdict? What are the evidence of the murder is? Let me zoom you in. I've cracked the fucking casing trying to get that bolt out. I have done everything to get that out and it hasn't played and I've managed to crack the casing. Which I think means that is now fucked. Um... Let me pull it out and we'll have a proper look at how I have managed to murder a perfectly good bike. Right, so let's have a look at this fucking disaster then. Um, I have welded on a bolt three times. I uber welded that one on. It's got loads of splatter on it as you can see just to make sure it wouldn't keep spinning. Um, got it on got the spanner on and it just stripped rounded the heads on the top of the bolt immediately it's so wedged in there I then carried on drilling um, with a big bit and a little bit uh, I've had an easy out drop in there uh, and and get stuck in there so I had to drill that out I then drilled in or then welded in a impact driver piece let it nicely cool impact driver be snapped in it I drilled that out and I just think I've put so much fucking stress on it that I've now cracked it which is a pain in the ass. Um and I probably well I don't know have I written it off I think what I'm going to do is just chuck it the back of the garage for now periodically just keep drilling um, but it's just drilling through that bolt is just kidding I've done I've got better drill bits I've got better drill and it's just not getting through so for those that you know, I've not got Parkinson's, it's fucking cold, I've just checked it, it's zero degrees. Um, I've just dropped a space heater in my garage because it's that fucking cold. Uh, this is going to go to the back. I'm not really riding at the moment, I don't have, I don't necessarily need it at the moment. So um, it's going to go sore and it's going to go to the back of the garage and periodically I'm just going to just keep drilling about. I'll make sure wherever I put it I can get to it. Um, but yeah, it was very close to getting set on fire and pushed down the hill. Uh, or go for my other solution, which is just to park it outside the house and get it stolen. <laughs> right, I'm going to push that back. And then we'll get back to the XJ, because I've just uh, I've ignored it for way too long, because I've been trying to sort this out. Right, moving on. <laughs> That's blew out of sight and out of mind. Um, at least for now, I'm not giving up. I'll do something, but it's just broke me um, a bit of a tidy up in here fuel in the tank seems to be holding a little bit on the floor but that's where I was pouring um, I could throw it on the bike couldn't I mm, I've got lots of stuff to do today but I'm going to try it on the bike let's get it on I guess get it on <laughs> Well, it's not good news, but I know what it is. I know why it's been racing. I know why everything's been going wrong. I had it on prime, so obviously it's just pushing fuel through. I don't have a seal. I don't really want to be doing that too much because I'm throwing a spark at gushing fuel and I'm going to get fire. Fuck, fuck, any fuck, fuck. Right, okay, when in doubt, walk away. <laughs> um, so that cylinder is the one that I um, 
uh, it's the one that was knackered and it's the one that I put the like the um, oh, the not nuts uh, the thread repair budget on and obviously it has failed so whilst come on you whilst I'll grab the dog and we head on up to pick up youngest from a club and I just step away I need to take all of that off again and have another look at that spark plug um, because the insert has obviously failed um, which is a pain in the ass, but at least I know what it is um, not quite sure well I'm going to have to take it off and replace it as much as anything else um, arse but but at least I know what it is but it's really frustrating um, I hadn't really noticed come on you people don't want to watch you do that um, I hadn't really noticed it guffing so much I'm not entirely sure why it suddenly just guffed then but yeah a whole load of fuel came out when it was on prime and it just spat out so next stop's going to be that it won't be next stop actually because I've got a nice big gap in the garage now and I've bought another bike another one I can break that breaks bikes I think that might be the new channel um, there you go comments at the bottom what bike would you like me to break next um, I'll give you a hint that hint is um, it's ULES free <laughs> it's ULES free it's ULES compliant uh, don't have to pay the ultra low emission zone on it um, yeah come on you um, so I bought it last week actually um, off eBay long story but um, it gets couriered Friday next week so next weekend we will be able to have a look at it and I will be able to show you my master plan my master plan isn't to fucking destroy it like I have the last two. <laughs> oh well. Tit in a shed, what do you expect? Right, that'll do me. I'm going to pick up youngest. Catch you later. ta -da. And I'm back. I've had a bit of a think. I've sorted my life out a little bit. <clears throat> I can get a new cylinder head for about 35, 40 quid. Which means that I won't be messing around trying to replace my... Um, uh, oh, oh, I'm going to say nuts hurt. It's not nuts hurt. Helicoil. <laughs> That's one the word I was fucking looking for. Um, I have tried to stick in a washer and underneath. That's no difference. It's just gushing through. So I can either go for a helicoil or I can go for a new uh, cylinder head. Um, about 35 quid versus about 10 quid. Um, but I've done it once and it didn't work. And I don't like it. So I think I'm going to go for a replacement. Which means all this shit needs to come off yet again. But it would explain the mystery um, high revs because like many of you said it's an air leak I hadn't noticed until basically I put the tank on put it on um, prime just to fill up the carbs a bit and it's gushed straight through and out because there's no pressure resistance holding it back I think but anyway it's an arse ache but it's not destroyed not until I get my spanners out again and destroy it even more <laughs> Oh, if I knew what I was doing, the channel would be better but boring. <laughs> Cheers all. Ta-da.